Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. I have a real small prep here that I did yesterday, and there are some items in here that I've never really covered before, so I wanted to go ahead and share that with you. And also, I want to do an update on the Arrow Garden, because I don't know if you can see in the background, but it's doing really well, and I want to go ahead and show you guys where it's at from the first planting that we did a couple of weeks or so ago. So I just happened to have to go to Lowe's to pick something up the other day. Actually, it was Home Depot, not Lowe's. And I came across some of these guys over here. And this is just a powder bleach cleaner. There's many different brands, but to tell you the truth, this is one of my favorite cleaners. Although I don't use it very much because we are on a septic system here. But these were on sale for a dollar a piece. So I picked up five of these. And let me tell you why I stocked up on some of these, ladies and gentlemen. We usually, we go through like one can of these, maybe one can every six months or so. So it's not like we go through it very fast. I don't like to use too much of it because I am on a septic. But it does such a great job at cleaning that I always like to use it every once in a while to get into the deep spots that you can't get with sprays or stuff but like that. But these items, ladies and gentlemen, and some of these other items that I'm going to show you, I think that if times get really tough they are going to become not very easily available. I think that if times get really tough, manufacturing is going to concentrate on the things that we really need to live. That's why I like to stock up on some of these items. And I've seen that these were on sale, so I went ahead and grabbed some because it was a great deal at a dollar a piece. Something else that I grabbed was a half a gallon of drain declogger because this works really great. And every once in a while, one of our drains gets a little slow because of several things. Maybe it's grease that's going down the drain or maybe hair gets stuck in it and things like that. So I always like to have a little bit of this because a little bit of this goes a long way. And I'm going to show you something else that I got that actually prevents your drains from getting clogged by you just placing this item in there. However, every once in a while, they still do get clogged because maybe you forget to replace something and... This right here works really good. I got this at Home Depot. And for those of you that may be going get some of this, make sure that you read the instructions. This is very potent and very dangerous if left to someone that cannot read the instructions and follow them. So I went ahead and got some of this because I think that this is something we should all have. Why? Because it makes our life easier. Imagine if you're in a stressful situation already and you get a clogged drain. There's no need, right? So have some of this to make sure that you can unclog your drains should they become clogged. Now this is pretty cool. This is called a green gobbler. And what these are is these are little sticks that you stick down your drain and they actually rest there. And what they do is they release enzymes into your actual drain that helps to eat up any grease or any solids that are left hanging around in your drain after you're done doing dishes or after you're done shaving, etc. So this right here is a very good preventive way of keeping your drains from clogging. And this right here, in case maybe you forget to put one of these and replace them, this right here is a good way of declogging your drain. Now I'm sure there's other ways to like declog drains. I've seen other ways of it being done. I actually tried one and it didn't work very well. That's why I always come back to something that I know that works. I've seen where People put like baking soda down their drain and then they follow it by vinegar and you know that it creates that nice fuzz and that supposedly unclogs the drain. I tried that once. It didn't work very well at all. So I just reverted back to a method that I know that works all the time. Now the last thing that I picked up is what makes the boom sticks go boom. So I went ahead and picked up three boxes of these because they had them and I was like, you know what? I might as well get some while they have them because this caliber is almost impossible to find. So I went ahead and picked up three of these just to add to my collection. That way when I get bored this winter, I can go to the range and have a little bit of fun. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at the Arrow Garden and see how it's doing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been two weeks since we planted our Arrow Garden. And as you can see, some of the lettuce are already starting to come up really nice. So these two are looking really, really good. And then we have, let's see, we ended up with four tomato plants. We have one tomato plant here. That's a lettuce. That's a tomato plant. That's another tomato plant. And this is another tomato plant as well. 
This one over here is just about starting to come out of its shell. So they're doing really well. The cilantro that I planted, if you see it in the back over here, none of them have germinated yet. They haven't started rising yet. And I realized this last summer when I planted cilantro outside, it took like three weeks to a month for them to even start coming up. So I'm guessing that it's going to take about the same amount of time for them to start coming up as well. And as you can see here, I went ahead and purchased the covers for the arrow garden, for the uh, pods that weren't being used or the pod holes that aren't being used. So eventually, when the rest of these lettuces that are planted here are big enough, I'm going to transport four of them to this arrow garden that I have empty right now. So I'll have two arrow gardens growing nothing but lettuce, one big arrow garden growing nothing but tomatoes, and then one other arrow garden back there growing nothing but cilantro. As you can see, the red light is flashing on the plant food on all of my arrow gardens. So you can see that one. This is what the digital one looks like. It's saying add plant food. So usually every two weeks, it'll ask you to add plant food. The water doesn't really go away very quickly when the plants are still small. But when they start getting bigger, you'll find yourself adding water probably every three days or so. So, of course, all that we have to do to add plant food to this is the big one, the big arrow garden is going to take three capfuls from this bottle right here. So I'm going to fill up three capfuls, put them in there, and then the little ones only take two capfuls. See, so these little ones will only take two capfuls each. The big one will take three capfuls. So we're going to go ahead and add our plant food to it now. And that's our last one. And now we should be good to go for about another two weeks. It's every two weeks that it'll ask you to add plant food. And then it'll ask you to add water whenever it's needed. Whenever the sensor shows that it's low. All right, ladies and gentlemen, quick video today. Just wanted to show you the arrow garden and those few things that I got to give you guys some ideas on what other preps you may be needing to fill in the gaps with. Having said that, I hope you have a great weekend. Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. This is Alaska Proper. I'm out.